An alternative to using Photoshop to create the animated GIF would be to use a program like Premiere Pro. Um, so here we have Premiere Pro 2020 open and I've already created a project. So just gone through the basic menus that um, are loaded on startup um, to get to a screen that looks like this. So there's nothing really on the screen right now here down, uh, you see the timeline. Um, here is going to be where all of your previewing happens and then here is your, um, your basic menu where your load files, load effects and other things like that. Um, there are quite a few tutorials um, on the Miro board. There's also some um, a, a bunch more available on YouTube um, if you want to get in more into Premiere. So we're just going to cover the super, super basics here. I'm not really going to get into any video editing even. This is strictly um, all photo work. So we're going to go to assembly at the top and then we're going to go into our media browser. Um, so you can see that I have a drop down menu here and these are all of the photos that I'm going to use. Um, so by default, they have this um, a certain length to them. So the image this is the image name and then next to it, this is the amount of time that each of those um, photos is going to be given. So we obviously don't want each one to last um, four seconds, but we'll go ahead and grab all of these. And then once we grab them, we can drag them over into the sequence and it'll go to import. And then you'll see all of these um, pop up in here. So we can drag, um, simple left click and drag. Um, also, you can use the alt and then scroll and that will allow you to scroll in and out of your sequence. Um, so the first thing that we're, we'll do is once we have all of those imported, we'll just go ahead and we'll click the play button and you can see that our time in between each photo is really, really slow. So what we're going to do is we're gonna highlight all of these guys and we'll right click and go to speed slash duration. Um, so it's really important here that you click ripple edit and I'll actually, I'll show you why. Um, so here we have seconds. So we'll change this to say zero seconds and 29 milliseconds. So if I click okay here without that being clicked, you see how each of these becomes really short, but I still have a gap in between each of them. Um, and obviously I can click and drag and I can have these come back next to each other, but for the amount of clips that we have, that's a, a real pain. So what I'm going to do is I'll scroll back out and then I'm going to highlight all of my clips. And if I right click and do speed duration, and then I click ripple edit. So what that's going to do is it's actually going to condense them down. So it basically edits the first one and then it'll move everything back to the left um, so that everything stays in sequence as it should. So now that we have all of our files in, let's take a look at what this looks like. So again, we're getting a really, really slow um, playing of these. So I'm gonna right click on these again and go to speed duration. And again, it'll ripple edit. So if we move our blue bar back to the beginning, you can see now that we're getting a much smoother image. So you can play around with um, basically how long you want the GIF to be. So up here, you see that we have our, our sort of time. So we're up to just over seven seconds. So if I go back here and I want it to be a little bit shorter, um, I can go ahead and change this to 04 and then that'll make it even shorter. Um, so you can see that it's getting much, much smoother as we go. So you see how in when we're previewing in Premiere, it'll actually end there. So there's a button up here called loop playback. Um, by default, I don't think this button is here. So if you go to button editor, it'll be up here and you can just drag that down into your bar um, down here and then click OK. So if we click on loop playback, um, what that will do is it'll show all of these guys. And then as soon as we get to the end, it'll keep the playback going from there. Um, so it'll start it back from the beginning and it'll keep going until you click stop. So once you're ready to export out of here, um, as far as the editing of these images go, um, you can get into some editing in Premiere Pro. Um, I'm not gonna get into that here, but um, I would recommend doing all of your photo editing in this case in a program like Photoshop and then having a, a full folder of images. You can get into things like batch editing also in Photoshop to make that a little bit quicker. Um, so here we'll highlight all of our images and then we'll go to file, export media, so we're going to do animated GIF and I'm going to keep most of the settings the same, just some things to look for. Um, output, that's where it's going to save your file by default. Um, video, keep your quality at 100. Um, again, the width and the height are going to be controlled by the default of your images. So if you uncheck that, you can change this. Um, but again, if you change that, you're going to be changing the output of, um, of what your image looks like. 
So if we go back here and we unclick the little tether button, you see we would end up with something like that. So um, I, again, I would recommend here that you go through and you do all of those kinds of things in a program like Photoshop before you get into, into Premiere. Um, so only other things to look here for frame rate, I would leave that alone. Um, field order should say compressive and then you can click render at maximum depth. Um, but I think it, in this case, it's actually okay without. Um, so we'll go to export and then it's gonna take a, a little bit to export. And then once we're done, we can find our GIF and we can again go to open with, and here I'll just preview it again in Internet Explorer to see the difference. Um, so here you can see our GIF moving again. So um, you really, in this case, have to dial in um, the sort of choppiness a little bit um, to, to get it to look right. So here you can see that there's still a little bit of choppiness. Again, it depends on the application of the GIF as to whether that's okay or not. Um, but that's the, the super, super basics of Premiere. We're not going to get too deep into Premiere, um, but I wanted to introduce it as another option um, for doing this kind of work.